Use synthetic division to divide p of x equal to 4x cubed minus 7x squared minus 16x plus 5 by x minus 3. Now, since the divisor is in the form x minus k, then we can use synthetic division, right? And our synthetic divisor in this case is going to be our k, which is 3. So when we set up our synthetic division table, we want to put the synthetic divisor 3 over here in a box to the left. So let me do better with that box. And then what we want to do is we want to write the coefficients of px detached from their um, variables. So we just want to write the coefficients. So right next to the 3 we want to write 4, negative 7, negative 16, and then positive 5. And then we want to draw a line under it, under the coefficients, leaving enough room to write stuff underneath. So, now the first step to do is to drop down the leading coefficient. So we want to rewrite 4 here. Then, the next thing we do is we multiply um, the synthetic divisor 3 by 4. So we multiply, want to multiply 3 times 4, which is going to give us 12, positive 12, right? So then the next thing we do is we add negative 7 and 12 to get positive 5. So now we do the same thing again. We multiply the 3 by the 5 and we write this down here. So when we do 3 times 5 here, what we're going to get is 15. And then we want to combine these two. So negative 16 plus 15 is negative 1. And then we do it one more time. So 3 times negative 1 is going to be negative 3, and when we add these two together, we're going to get positive 2. So now, in order to figure out um, which uh, what value of the exponents the x's are going to take for each of these coefficients, we have to think about what we've got. So we've got a polynomial in degree 3 being divided by a polynomial in degree 1. So the polynomial that's going to result is going to be in degree 2, right? So finally, how we write this is that we attach the coefficient with decreasing exponents of x. So x2, x1, x to the 0 power, and 2 is going to be our remainder term. So our final answer is 4x squared plus 5x to the first power, which is just x, minus 1 times x to the 0 power, which is just 1. And then our remainder term is going to be 2, which we always write over the divisor. So it's going to be 2 over x minus 3.